It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you But there's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do I bless the rains down in Africa Gonna take some time to do the things we never Wycliffe Ndiga is uh, one of the leading artists in Kenya and uh, we had an opportunity to talk to him and uh, Wycliffe Ndiga, how are you? Very fine. Uh, we, um, uh, we'll start by asking you, um, how long have you been uh, doing art? Uh, I started uh, doing art for in 1992. Actually, that the time I started uh, becoming interested in art. Mm -hmm. Uh, before that, I was uh, employed as a, a waiter. Yeah. I worked uh, in various hotels here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was working, then uh, I was my heart always urged me to paint because yeah. I felt painting is what good. You want to do, yeah, yeah, I want to express my Your my feelings. inner inner mind. Okay. So in 1992, I started painting. Okay. I went to. I went to various uh, wildlife uh, parks. parks uh, Mostly I went to Nairobi Park. Yeah. That's where I started going, watching animals, uh, lions, uh, cheetahs. And I was very much interested. So after that I started now uh, painting. Okay. I went, I bought colors, canvases, brushes. Then I started painting. Okay. Yeah. Now when you sit down and you want to do a painting, like if you think uh, something you want to do. What inspires you to do the painting? What do you think about? What makes you? What drives you to, to do a painting? In fact, it's uh, I think it's inborn. I was okay. born. It's a talent. Yeah. Yeah. Since I was a kid, yeah. I always liked to to do something. Uh, when I see something, I I would like to look in uh, more detail. Detail. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when uh, I could even try to paint, try to mold, mm -hmm. uh, where I could uh, play around with uh, mud, try to mold people, animals. That's uh, something make me inside. And uh, I was unable to express it to the, to the world. Okay, Riga, let yeah. me ask you, do you have a family? Sure, I have a family. Okay. I'm married uh -huh. uh, with three kids. Three kids. Two boys, two one boys. girl. Are they following the father's footsteps? Are they interested sure. in that? Themselves? Sure, they are into, whenever, anytime I'm painting, mm -hmm. they are always there mm -hmm. looking how I'm painting. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, my first born and the second uh, girl, mm -hmm. they are trying to paint, paint mm -hmm. that way. And uh, uh, as they continue with learning, with education, mm -hmm. Eventually, they will become artists. Okay. Yeah, and okay. also, I would like in future to also to have a, a place where I could uh, teach okay. art. Okay, okay, yeah. like an art institution of yeah, some sort. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You have been painting for some quite some time right now. Sure. And uh, along the way, I'm sure you've you've had a lot of habits, a lot of hiccups. What are the some of the challenges you face when you go through your work? There are many. Uh, one we can say it's lack of market. Lack of market. Yeah, especially I mean, uh, art is some kind of uh, fine art. Mm -hmm. Mostly, it's a kind of uh, uh, neglected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, we have planned to, to to talk to governments mm -hmm. at least to take keen on uh, fine art. Okay. You know, because art expresses the country uh, culture. Okay. Uh, Okay. You can sing, you can uh, draw, you can model. That explains the country, okay. the culture of the country. Okay. Okay. But the, 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 the government seems to relax on uh, such sites. So that's, that's one of the main challenges. Okay. The second challenge is uh, marketing. Yeah. So uh, you see, our, like uh, our arts, we get very... Uh, I mean, we don't get access to buyers. I mean, to, to sell our work. Okay. From your paintings, we've seen that uh, you 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 like major in uh, your main subject is wildlife. Sure. Uh, you, it's you like uh, venture into wildlife so much. Do you, if given a chance, would you like 
explore your, your talent and try and uh, venture into some other kind of subjects like probably abstract um, sure. some kind of things. Yeah. Sure, you know, as I've said, yeah. uh, due to lack of a uh, sponsor or lack of uh, guidance, mm -hmm. uh, we tend to, to be dormant. Okay. So you concentrate on only one thing. Right. But if you, we, we have kind of somebody, maybe somebody or the government to expand your, your talent. I can venture in all kinds of abstracts, all kinds of art, even more than that, the day-to-day the, the -day life. Like the way people are suffering, the way people are doing, it's, it's still art. And this is also the best. Instead of all, all only concentrating on one side of uh, just world life. So if, if uh, encouraged and, uh, and able to, to widen my my talent yeah, yeah. so I can do the word that I mean I can do I can explore every okay. every side okay um, as you wind up uh, tell us what what would you like to tell the other artists the other upcoming artists around what word will you have for them uh, I would urge them to continue working I mean to continue painting to explore more on art because art is indefinite yeah. yeah so if you know you have a talent it's only it, it's not only art. Yeah, you, you might be a singer, you might be a cover. You know, if you feel you have a talent and you need to exploit it, so do it. Do. Just don't give up. Don't right. do. Thank you so much. That was it. Bigger. I'm heading on Monday.